hello. I've uh, finished work early today and come down on the train to York. Uh, Going to do a ride up into the Wolds, which is somewhere I've never been before actually. Quite looking forward to it. Uh, reading the description, looking at the photos in uh, Lost Lanes North. Seems to have quite a few similarities with uh, north of Kent where I grew up. Uh, weather forecast for today is not brilliant. I was hoping it was going to be dry all the way through, but it looks like it's going to be wet this evening. So aim is get out, get somewhere to camp, and then be uh, down for the night, I think. Right, York traffic, horrendous. So I'm going to leave you to concentrate on what's going on around me. Like I said, the traffic's pretty appalling. Still though, York Minster. It's starting to rain already. I think I might have to put some waterproofs on quite soon. Otherwise I'm gonna end up wet and cold. Right, let's go. through York City Centre okay. Uh, arrived at the station at about half past four so pretty much peak rush hour I think when we came out. Somewhere in the suburbs now heading east. Has this guy seen me? Well, it's definitely raining and it's definitely going to be a wet one. Oh well. Rain's forecast to stop at about, I think, 2, 3 in the morning. So at least tomorrow I should be dry. I'm tempted to see if I can find somewhere to camp sooner rather than later. Do more miles tomorrow in the dry and just stay in the tent, read my book and sleep this evening. You all right? Someone broke them down. Guy had a pannier rack and he fixed it with a bolt to the seat post clamp. Uh, which had failed a week ago, so he replaced that with a cable tie and lo and behold it popped on the way home. So we managed to fix it with uh, a shoulder strap out of one of his panniers around the seat post, around the rack and attached to itself, so hopefully that will get him home.
good, so straight ahead. Straight ahead it is. That's a lot of trees. Three past six. I'm um, looking for an outside tap. See if I can fill my water up. Can't see anything there. Can't see anything there. Looks like the church has let me down. There's a pub. They have water, don't they? The guys at the pub where I got the water from told me about a picnic spot at the top of the hill. I thought it would be quite hard to find, but it was pretty obvious when I got there to be honest. Oh well, uh, the picnic spot turned out to be good. It's not absolutely flat, but it's flat enough for me. And I really don't think we're going to be disturbed here tonight. So, time for me to cook some food I think. Hungry. Eight o'clock and I'm turning in. It's still raining. Um, I had some pasta and some tomato sauce for my supper. Um, today was the first time I took um, a new meth stove that I got from uh, a certain well-known online retailer, uh, Out to Play. Um, and it was an absolute disaster. Um, little brass thing. And when you put the mess in and lit it, um, something expanded in it and it leaked out of the joint in the bottom. Now, fortunately, I wasn't cooking in the vestibule of the tent. Um, but I'm in uh, this picnic area. There are picnic tables and one of them happened to have um, a broken piece of paving stone on the side. I actually set the stove up on that. Um, unfortunately, it, it's also really wet with all the rain. So, no fires. Um, but I've gone through pretty much all my meth, meths. Uh, so, tomorrow morning's coffee could be a little um, cold brew. Anyway, uh, I'm about done in, so I'm going to go to sleep. See you in the morning. Just before I fell asleep, I had a sudden moment of inspiration and I realised that if I soaked my porridge overnight, I'd have enough fuel left to make some coffee in the morning. A uh, bit of an early start, quite cold in the night, so I thought it was best just to get up and get some food down my neck, uh, a cup of coffee and then get riding. Uh, just packing up now. Well, it's time to go, and here's the obligatory leave no trace shot. So this is the village of uh, Thixendale and uh, by crikey it's pretty. It's like someone had some specification for Little English Village and this is what they came up with. Well this is certainly pretty. 
uh, there are two large hawks, raptors, soaring over the valley over there. I don't think you can you can see them. Probably far too small. Uh, and the view from up here is oh, well, it's fab, isn't it? Early spring, I think, is it's definitely the time to be somewhere like this. It's just beautiful. It's just me and the birds. Isn't it fab? Don't see many hairs. I couldn't go. Camera shy. Well, I'm in the town of Buckington. It's quarter to nine. I was about ready for second breakfast, which is dead handy because there was a Coopman's Bakery who served the good stuff. What a landscape to be cycling through. I don't think I've ever cycled on anything quite like this. Between these two fields of rape. They two field to one field with a road through the middle. I know. Nearly back in York and heading along the solar system cycleway, uh, which features many models of things you will find in the solar system. Uh, this one is a model of the Cassini Huygens probe, um, which did much discovering of moons around Jupiter. And that's a Brompton. My daughter used to live just around the corner from here uh, in her second year as a student last year and we'd often come and meet her, play Scrabble on one of these picnic benches and have an ice cream from this floating ice cream shop which I've got to do now. So anyway, I'm just wending my way back through the city centre, heading to the train station to go home. Uh, it's been pretty good last 20 hours, I think. Uh, the rain yesterday was not as much fun as it could have been. But the tent was nice and dry. Uh, 
I was a bit cold in the night, but not too cold. And certainly the ride this morning through the wolds was just absolutely fantastic. Really enjoyed that. Anyway, I'm going to switch you off and uh, see if I can get to the train station.